So you want to use your DSLR for vlogging, but you do have a problem. Unless you've got one of the handful of entry level models that do have a flip out screen, you can't actually see what you're doing. You can't see your composure, you can't see if you're in frame, you can't check focus, you can't actually do anything. Uh, most people do buy an external monitor that they can mount on top or to the side of the camera depending on your, on your setup which is fine, but again, from a vlogging point of view where you're further away from the camera, um, normally it's just a small screen. You can only see so much, but the easiest way is to actually connect your camera to your laptop. There is some software out there called Digicam Controller. It's actually open source, so it's free. It's very, very, very good. You download it from the link which I'll place below. You literally install it onto your laptop, connect your camera via USB, and for the main part, you should pick up your camera straight away. It's picked up all my Nikons, although I have had problems with the uh, uh, Sony A6000. I think that only works via Wi-Fi, direct Wi-Fi. Um, but you can not only check everything you can actually it's a complete camera control software you can change your shutter speed your iso you can change your aperture but being nikon you have to come out of live view to change that but it's literally uh literally just a click of the mouse it has got uh, a focus selector on it so once you get yourself in the right position you can actually focus remotely to get perfect focus you can change all the settings on your camera from your laptop facing your camera to get exactly what you want. So it's very, very, very good. I believe there is one for Android. Um, I think it's called DSLR controller. Uh, it used to be free, but it's about six or seven pounds. Um, I should be testing that because when you're out and about, that's very handy. And obviously if you have a phone, obviously if you install it onto your phone, then you can use your phone as a monitor, but if you have a tablet, then you can actually use an Android tablet to control your camera, and obviously that has a much bigger screen, and that then can double up as a beautiful field monitor. So whenever I try that, I'll be back with a review of that.